the first thing we want to talk about, and you can leave this over my shoulder, is 4K NDI Live Production Systems. You know, we've been producing our show on a TriCaster TC1 for well over a year now. And the TC1 is the, the, the big daddy of 4K TriCaster Productions. But before we get into that, I want to get into the 4K NDI, the TC Mini 4K NDI. Now, Glenn, you have one of those that you're using back at your place, but more than that is, is there's really been a double launch of this. They initially launched, there was a little bit of confusion, now they just relaunched it. They've redefined what's in the box and they've added some just features that I'm just so excited because they're the features that when I first saw this, I was like, if it only had this, if it only had this, only this. So I don't want to steal your thunder. Let's cut to Glenn in this slide. And Glenn, you take away all the great new uh, features in the 4K Mini yeah, NDI. So really the, the, the biggies that are new in this, this release that I think are, are great is First off, you've now got a, and I'm not going to go in order because I don't have the slides. So you've got a second channel of Skype TX. So this was already good having Skype TX in it, but now you've got the two channels of Skype TX. Um, they've added uh, three things that I think are really great about this box is they've added the new um, live story creator. So that basically allows you to take in a Word document and have it actually automate the production for you. So you can actually write a, write a full story that includes camera switching, and everything else like that. It'll do that. It's got the live panel, which we're going to show in a little bit, which makes you know um, the product much easier to use. So you know it's still a TriCaster at its heart, and it's still got a lot of power. But for somebody new starting to use it, you know it can be daunting. So live panel is a great thing to make it easy to use and jump on. Um, NDI KVM is another great new feature that they've added that allows you to you know access this thing anywhere on the LAN and. Yeah, you know, it just means you can put this in a machine room and still operate it and control it, and you're not going to see any lag. Um, what am I missing on those slides, Gary? I'm sorry. Uh, you're going to get four <laughs> mix outs. Oh, yeah, the four mix outs. So this is a biggie. Um, this actually was one I just went through with somebody. Um, you know, Skype TX is a great integration into the product, but, you know, a lot of people are trying to use Teams. They're trying to use Zoom. They're trying to use all these things to bring people back in. One of the biggest problems is um, not creating that echo. So I was showing somebody a week ago, how to use you know an aux mix and get a mix minus back out from zoom to send to somebody problem is they had two callers that they were trying to use and we ended up having to use one of the streaming outputs to finally get them their mix back but now with four mix outputs you know that gives you your your program out it also gives you you know you can do a clean out and then you can still do two separate mixes out uh doing mix minuses to your different um your different hosts as well so your different people coming in on zoom calls yeah so and then the other one is SRT and gestures. Now, SRT is a whole technology, but basically what this opens up is to NDI across the cloud and bringing people in from remote areas securely for remote video production. Yeah, uh, you know, SRT is great. A lot of other companies have been doing, or, or a lot of companies are moving that way. There's a lot of things around. It's secure, reliable trans transport. Um, when we talk a little bit later about some of the other products, you'll see where SRT plays in the world of cloud and, and getting NDI around. But it's another way of just saying, okay, great, we want to get a high quality version of this from one location to another. So it's again, it's another remote and, and it's another distancing application where you can take your full production and send it all the way at high quality to somebody else um, that could then either you know repackage it or use it in their program or re-encode it for something else.